Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing all new Halloween Dollar Tree DIYs. And like always, these are gonna be really easy to recreate. And you guys might have noticed that I like to kind of do a theme in each one of my videos. So the theme for today's Halloween video is classic Halloween characters. So each one of the DIYs you are going to see is definitely going to incorporate a classic Halloween monster or character. So let's get started with these galvanized buckets. I love these because these are a Dollar Tree staple. They usually have these year round in their crafter square. I decided to get both sizes. You're also going to need this vinyl paper also from the crafter square at Dollar Tree. I went with the black glitter one. All you have to do is just unroll it and cut a small piece to work with. Now I'm going to go ahead, just fold it in half and cut out some triangles. So we just want to cut out a jack-o'-lantern face. And I love this paper because it is self-adhesive, which is wonderful. It does have the paper backing on it, so it makes it really easy to work with and cut out. It's just like cutting out any regular paper. And you are ready to attach it to your surface. You can just peel off that paper backing and just put it right where you want it. And if you do want to move it around a little bit, you can peel it off and kind of reposition it. So here I am just taking that paper backing off and adding it to my galvanized bucket. This is such an easy DIY. It's an easy way to just embellish an everyday item for Halloween and make it extra special. These buckets are perfect if you just want to use them like this to hold utensils if you're having a party, or you can use these to store your pencils and markers. I did pick up some faux florals from Dollar Tree, so we will be adding those to the buckets. And one of the faux florals I have been really loving for fall is the eucalyptus stems. I added a foam floral block and then I'm gonna be adding three picks each to each bucket. So I got some of the green and some of the burgundy and here's how they turned out. The eucalyptus stems have a really realistic look to them. So I think that they are perfect for any of these DIYs. They look really nice. They can blend in with so many different decor styles. And this is definitely a must try DIY. Dollar Tree always has a ton of window clings for the holidays. So I had to share some really easy window cling hacks. The first is to get one of these glass jars. These are just from Target. I'll be sure to link them down below. And you can attach any of these window clings to these jars. I usually have about two or three of these in my kitchen filled with treats at all different times of the year. And they are perfect to just embellish with these window clings. In just a few seconds, we have transformed these everyday glass jars into a Halloween decoration. But the best part is, is that when the holiday is over, you can go ahead and just peel these off and get ready for the next holiday or just leave them plain. I love something that can be used for the holidays and then also used year round. I will definitely be using the same hack for the holidays coming up after Halloween. You can even use little candy canes at Christmas time. There are just so many different ways to embellish these. I also wanted to show you this little glass jar here is from Dollar Tree and these smaller ones fit perfectly on it. Those are great to use for makeup brushes or as a pencil holder. And of course, I had to share with you my vases from Dollar Tree. I have had these for years. So these are just Dollar Tree vases. I use E6000 to attach one of the candle holders from Dollar Tree to the bottom and I use these all the time. I wanted to show you them with some faux candles and some of these window clings. These come in so handy, but you can of course use this as a vase as well with some faux florals or even real flowers. This one might be my favorite DIY from the video. It's probably a close tie between this and the window clings. So I found these wreath kits at Dollar Tree this year and I've been using them in so many different DIYs, but I didn't want to make a wreath or a pillow with this one. I wanted to do something a little bit different. What you need from Dollar Tree is the Frankenstein wreath kit and a roll of their felt that can be found in their crafter square. So first I just set up my Frankenstein here and you can see he is missing the middle portion of his body. So we're just going to take a piece of paper fold it in half and start to kind of create the outline of a shirt. It doesn't have to be anything fancy at all. You just want to make sure that it's going to be proportionate to your Frankenstein. And then you want to go ahead and take your felt out, fold it in half so you can double it up, and then just use your template to cut out your felt into your desired shape. So I have my two pieces here. I did take the top one off and we're just going to get started with the first shirt. So all we're going to be doing is hot gluing all of our parts into place. I started with the hands and then I moved on to the legs and finally the head. And then once everything is hot glued in place, we're going to start to glue our shirt on top. 
I did want to mention though for the head you will see I cut off all these extra strings on top and then I hot glued it into place but for the top shirt I did end up having to trim the neckline just a little bit when I placed the shirt on top I had noticed that it was kind of covering up a little bit of the monsters bolts and I wanted to be able to see those so all I did was just cut a really really small curve into it and then I was able to tuck it underneath the bolts and everything was good I'm going to start hot gluing that second shirt on top now if you don't want to hot glue you can absolutely sew this i was just looking for a really simple no sew diy but you can absolutely stitch this closed instead now when i was hot gluing it i did make sure just to leave a small opening at the top arm that way i could fill up my frankenstein with some polyfill once I had it all stuffed, I went ahead and just hot glued it closed. Here's how he turned out. I think that this DIY is absolutely adorable. It's so cute sitting out next to a pumpkin. He is a little bit on the thinner side, especially the wreath kit part. So you do have to kind of prop him up against something. So I just have him here by my pillow, but I think he is just the sweetest. Next up, I have two Dollar Tree Star Light hacks for Halloween. Now the first, we're gonna be using this glass here. I thought it was so pretty. I love the spider on it. And we are of course going to need one of Dollar Tree's solar lights. I have two different options with this one. You can go ahead and just pop the entire top of the solar light off off and add it to your glass. This is going to give you a really beautiful effect on the inside. The solar light kind of has that diamond pattern to it. So when this lights up, when the entire head is inside of it, it does have that beautiful reflection. And you can of course go ahead and just glue these in place if you like. I personally just like to place them into my cup. I can charge them in the sun and then just put them on my patio wherever I like them. That way I can just remove it if I want to. But the other option is to go ahead and just twist this part off and then you can just add the cap into your cup. It's not gonna go all the way down. It's gonna stop right about here and stay nice and secure. Now you can just let this charge in the sun and you will be ready to go. So here's mine on my patio. I think it's so spooky. I love that spider and it does give off a really decent amount of light. We can use that same solar light hack with this glass lantern here. So they actually had these in orange and clear this year. Either one would be great for this DIY. I did want to show you though, this part is a little bit too large to fit into the jack-o-lantern. So we are just going to be using the cap. Now you can kind of wedge it in there and it will stay. It's not the most secure. You might want to add a little bit of hot glue just for a temporary stay, or you can go ahead and add a permanent glue like E6000. Just a little bit of black electrical tape could be used to keep this in place. Now you can go ahead, let this charge and place them all over your patio, or you can even line a walkway with some mini shepherd hooks. Either way, this one is so easy and beautiful. Next up is the easiest two minute DIY. So all you need from Dollar Tree is one of these frames. They usually have these all the time. So I do like to use them because they are easier to find. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a free printable and you are going to be able to find this on my blog. So I actually have four for you guys. So you're going to click the link in the video description box down below, and it's going to bring you over here to my blog. All you want to do is just scroll down to the bottom. You're going to see this area where it says free printables. Go ahead and just click the link and you will see all four free printables. And of course we had to stay on theme. So each one of the photos is going to represent a different Halloween character. So we have the cat, the ghost. Next, I had Frankenstein's monster. And then finally, we have this jack-o'-lantern. So you can go ahead and print all four or just one like I did. I'm going to go ahead and use the cat here. I thought he would be really cute with my other witch decor. And I'm going to go ahead and just cut it out. And these are sized perfectly to fit into this entire frame. I'm not going to be using the matting at all. And I actually prefer just to frame it above the glass. That way it doesn't have the glare and it kind of looks more like an art print. But within two minutes, you have a really simple and easy DIY for Halloween that looks great on any countertop or bookshelf. All you have to do is just add a little pumpkin next to it and you are done. We love a really easy and quick DIY. And that is everything for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these Dollar Tree Halloween DIYs. Please let me know down below which one was your favorite. Like I told you guys before, I think it has to be the Frankenstein monster. He is just so cute. But I also do love that window cling hack. I want to know what you guys think down below. If you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. You can subscribe by just clicking on my picture right here. Thank you so much for watching.